Welcome back to the Climate Smart Agriculture Investment Portfolios for Guyana. I am Anton Eitzinger, a researcher at the Alliance of Biodiversity International and SEAT. Our Managing Director for the Americas, Jesus Quintana, introduced you to Guyana's vulnerability to climate change and the need for action. This video will show you the framework we used for prioritizing Climate Smart Agriculture Investment Portfolios. We will also explain some of the different steps involved in building these portfolios. During the last 10 years, the CGIR Research Program on Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security, or CCAFS, has developed research methods and tools to help identify context-specific actions and technologies for climate smart agriculture. These help us to better understand trade-offs and benefits delivered by different combinations of interventions and how different portfolios can support stakeholders including smallholder farmers, investors and policymakers. In the case of Guyana, the framework we used is called the Evidence-Based Gender Equitable Framework for Prioritizing Climate Smart Agriculture Interventions. This is the first time this particular framework has been deployed. What makes this framework unique is that it starts on the ground with farmers, both men and women. First, it seeks to understanding the particular challenges the climate change is causing these farmers. Second, it looks at how to build solutions that are tailored to those contexts. Third, it examines the barriers farmers may face to adopting a portfolio of actions and technologies that may help them adapt to climate change. This information is a vital first step toward interventions that can lead to implementation of climate smart agriculture at scale. For this first part of the framework, we use the Climate Smart Agriculture Rapid Appraisal Approach, which we explain in more detail in another video. So, after starting with the local context, we moved on to understanding what climate change means for Guyana's agriculture sector. For this part of the study, we used models to simulate the future geographic suitability and agroecological characteristics of different crop production systems, such as rice on coastal areas and subsidence crops in the hinterland. To do this, we used weather station data collected between 1998 and 2018 and compared it with plausible climate scenarios from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change for the 2050s. With these two pieces of the puzzle, the local context and probable future climate scenarios, we then collaborated to help determine the most important piece, what to do about it. This involved the tool for prioritization of climate smart agriculture portfolio investments. The tool uses multiple criteria for decision making processes that were designed in collaboration with national policymakers and agriculture experts. This resulted in best bet climate smart agriculture investment portfolios for the two essential agriculture regions in Guyana the coastal lowlands and the hinterland savanna. All three framework components involve a robust, participatory process based on national stakeholders' engagement and local communities. Because implementation is something that will need to be carried out over several years, capacity building is a core component of the framework. During the project, all components were prepared and implemented in collaboration with national partners. The University of Guyana collaborated on the Rapid Rural Appraisal the Hydrometeorological Service, which is part of the Ministry of Agriculture, participated in the crop modeling research. Finally, the National Agriculture Research and Extension Institute collaborated on the prioritization process for climate smart interventions. Thank you for your time today and we will see you in the next video presentation.